Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1. When I post videos to this channel, makes sense, right? If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you, to you, happy birthday to you, have a cake. I just got done watching what I feel is the best car movie I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of car movies. If there's two things I'm interested in life, it's cars and movies. And combining those two things together, well, it's like heaven for me. I'm a little late to the game because this movie came out in 1976. It's from a completely different time in movie history. In fact, they used actual film, I suspect maybe a Super 16 camera uh, to do it with. I can't pronounce it, why? Because it's French. So I, I never took French and I'm not gonna embarrass myself, but I'm gonna put the name of the movie up there. I believe it translates to, it was a date. And I don't wanna reveal too much about it, but okay, what I will do is I will link it down in the description because it is on YouTube and it's only about six or seven minutes long. And you're like, movie? How can you call it a movie? Trust me. Trust me, if you haven't seen this movie, go see it, and then I want you to come back and comment and let me know what you think. How was I turned on to it? Well, uh, the Fairmont is insured by Haggerty, and they send me this monthly newsletter or whatever, and it was in that newsletter, and I was like, hmm, greatest car movie of all time, because that was their words. I'm like, yeah, I'll check it out, and I watched it, and I am in love. Absolutely in love. It is completely reckless. It's completely dangerous. They did a similar thing when they filmed The French Connection, if you know anything about car movies. In The French Connection, they had a car chase scene through New York City that they didn't ask anybody about. They just went and did it. And I think Bullet was kind of similar. They're just like, okay, we're doing this, guys. Roll camera. Go. <laughs> and yeah, things were way different then. Because of the stuff that they did in these movies, which will never be able to be done again. You know, well, I shouldn't say never. But uh, racing through the streets of Paris, the only way it could have been done, in, in my opinion, was like a Sunday morning early. Early Sunday morning was probably the only way they got away with this. Before speed cameras, before any of this other stuff. 1976, mind you. Now, it was a professional driver that, that did the drive. They dubbed the sound, which is super common in older movies because getting sound uh, back in the day and trying to run a projector, which is noisy, it, it's just, it sucks. So you dub sound. Back in the day, you dub sound. Even dialogue, it's called ADR, auto, audio dialogue recording. Anyway, it, they dub over it. So they dub the sound of a Ferrari engine over a Mercedes. I believe it was an AMG or something like that. I don't remember the exact model. That's in the article linked in the description, but anyway. They chose it because it had a smoother suspension and the camera wouldn't shake as much, but they dubbed Ferrari engine noises over the top of it. Seriously, the best seven minutes of your life. Seven minutes in heaven, we'll call it. <laughs> Maybe we should call the video seven minutes in heaven. Anyway, absolutely love it. Absolutely love the, the gorilla nature of it and, and the fact that it's all tied together at the end. And I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but gosh darn it, it's brilliant. One take, one freaking take. I know it was one take. There's no way that anything in that was cut. That was. That was a once in a lifetime gig. And that's why I'm so excited about it because I know that something like that will very likely never happen again, but it was caught on film. It can happen over and over, forever and ever. Go watch it, it's linked in the description. Article also that I got from Haggerty will be linked in the description so you can learn a little bit about, about the backstory and who did what and why and all of that kind of stuff. Go watch it, come back in the comments and let me know what you think. Is it the greatest movie you've ever seen? And if it's not, what is the greatest car movie you've ever seen? and let me know why. That's what comments are for. Automotive questions, ericthecarguy.com. That's what that is for. 24-7, 365 there for you, for your car questions. Yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do those things that help make a living. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Go watch the movie. Watch it now. Do it now, if you haven't already.